what kind of feedback mechanisms have you utilized or developed over the years to know what your audience is interested in and how they're responding to your music? People will email me uh, at the station uh, or directly, or they will uh, log on to the Facebook page, Jazz Flight Pit Facebook page. So I get that kind of communication. I get communication from the uh, from students, faculty members, uh, community people that I come across. Nearly, you know, for, for every person who knows me as a member of the psychology department at Mercyhurst, there must be 50 people who know me only through the radio. So I come across a lot of people uh, in the community who will give me feedback you know, sporadically about what they like or not. So you get cornered on the streets. I do get cornered, <laughs> which is great. Yeah, yeah. yeah, and people that um, that I, I have not been in direct touch with for years uh, will occasionally I'll come across them and I'll say, oh yeah, I've been listening to this show. And these are people that I haven't even talked to directly. But I'll see them at the at the Blues and Jazz Festival, for example, and so it's, mm -hmm. it's fun. So you have you have the pleasure and the benefit of two different streams of communication. Uh, as a teacher, you have the thousands and thousands who, who have gone their ways and, and you know, uh, you've impacted and yet you don't know necessarily the yeah. moment of impact. And you will see them when they come back to town or when they're with their exactly. children or whatever exactly. and say, boy, you know, that one class that you had, <laughs> just, it changed my life. <laughs> but you also have the people who you uh, our broadcast that uh, obviously you are impacting. And speaking of impact, uh, I'm not trying to get you to, to uh, name f uh, favorites, but I am. Of the local jazz musicians, whose music do you really enjoy? Well, currently, um, Frank Singer, Tony Gray, uh, come to mind, of course, Charles Ventrello, you know, um, I always enjoy Rick Lopez when I get to hear him live. Um, you know, the musicians, uh, Harry Jacobson, uh, Tony Stefanelli, uh, Joe Doris, you know, fantastic, I just enjoy his uh, his uh, his percussion, his singing, so it, it's hard, you know. I, anyone, and when I mention, I'll think later. I should have mentioned, you know, A, B, and C. So there are a lot of, uh, you know, I'm, Erie has a lot of talent, and we really need to uh, support the live performers in this in this town. And it's a joy. It's a joy just to, to you know to hear him perform. Over the years, I mean, I'm thinking back to the early days of um, you know Concourse, Chuck Vincello's group, with um, you know Sheldon Peterson, Dave Blades, Matt Ferguson. That's, that's great players. So many of them. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, we've been blessed with that. Cool. Thanks so much. <laughs>